Yes, like Christmas morning. And I apologize for that terrible sniper impression. So a lot of the stuff that I've ordered has come? And this isn't all of it. I'm still waiting for some Tesla core supplies to come from Mauser, but, um, yeah, that's not going to be until February. But anyway, let's have a look at what we've got so far. Okay then, let's see what's in the first package. I think I know what's in this one. I'm just going to open it up carefully. I wouldn't normally tear this open, but I'm doing this on camera. I don't want to have the other side exposed. Revealing all my personal information. So this should be some more solder. Good solder. By Weller. And I think this is going to work a lot better than this crap. Right, okay, let's open this long one. Which is so long I can barely get it in the shot. I know why it's so long. You don't know, but I do. But you'll find out in a minute. You might be thinking, is there anything in there? Well, it's just bubble wrap out the way. A few bits and bobs here. And this explains the reason. Needed some IC sockets. So let's see what we've actually well what I've actually ordered. Well, there's the IC sockets obviously. And look, heat shrink tubing. Various electro um no, various film capacitors. TL431 voltage reference. 12 volt voltage regulators. Some more TL072 op amps. And some field effect transistors. Okay, here's the second Amazon package. I'm going to do this one on the bed as well. It's just more convenient that way. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? what we got in here. Proper toggle switches, I made sure of that this time. If you remember those last switches I bought, these ones were non-toggle. See? Just momentarily. And these ones, let me just get one out. Proper toggle. Yeah. So, what else did I get? Well, a whole set of variable resistors, potentiometers, whatever you want to call them. Some non electrolytic capacitors and some electrolytic capacitors, and that's not all. Just before we move on to what arrived from eBay, I've just found a whole bunch of 2035 transistors in my storage. I'm sure I can find a use for them. That's not part of the order, that's just something I happened to stumble across when I was looking for one of those other switches to show you. Yeah, these seem to be like pretty good ones. Nice and chunky. Not sure what's in this little package. Um, still don't know what I got. 
I mean, I'm I'm just as much in the dark as you as, what, as to what's in here. God, I hate my voice. I'm in the dark as to what's in here. There is something in here, I promise. And we have... Phono cartridge. That's for my BSR turntable restoration project. Deja vu, anyone? Yep, this is the um third, I think, Amazon package. Funny how history has a tendency to repeat itself, don't you think? See what we got in here. More capacitors. Forgot I ordered this. Let's see what's in here. Prototyping board. Uh, resistors. More potentiometers. And some diodes. Xenodiodes, I believe, if I remember. Sometimes I don't remember what I ordered. Well, I must have accidentally ordered either this one or this one. But I don't care. As they say, the more the merrier. I'm certainly not going to run out of electrolytics for a while. Well, so far I'm not disappointed. Apart from with the Xenodiodes. I mean, these are alright, but I wish they'd have used some more usable values like, say, 3.3, 5.1, 12, and 15. That would have been much better than what we've got here, but I can make do. I can say string two of these 6.2 volt dies together to get 12.4. Actually, I'm going to take two of these 7.5 volts in us and see if I can make 15 volts. So I rigged up a little circuit here. Well, let's just test this diode. Six point six, so well, that's a little bit low. Mm, it's more like it. Okay, this one is way out of spec. I've, I've got a feeling that this is from, um, might have found its way into the wrong compartment. Yep, it had. Right. One more down here. Made sure this has got the right number on it. Alright, 7.1 volts. Not quite up to what the thing specifies, but... Let's see what we get when we put these two together. I'm also going to have to raise the voltage of my power supply. I have current limited it, by the way. In case you were wondering. It's got to about 20 volts. Two diodes together. That's near enough. Right, let's see what's in this one. Actually, I might be able to open this without using the scissors. I think this is going to be my logarithmic potentiometers. Yep. Let's see. Let's just get one out, make sure it's got an A on it, not a B. A little A right there it means it's log because <clears throat> so if you're doing things like analog volume controls and stuff like that yeah you want to go with log not linear another little package here I'm sure this is the spare stylus so nothing much interesting is there any, even anything in this oh yeah there we are I don't think there was nothing in this oh well, here it all is Let's just see a close-up of all of this stuff. So, here's all the stuff that I've ordered. Uh, 
so I'm going to be busy for the next few weeks, or maybe even months, or maybe even years. So the next project in Cool Do Claims Electronic Workshop is going to be a full restoration of this vintage BSR record changer. But first I've got some ranty videos to do, so I'm going to get on with those, and until next time, goodbye.